welcome to The Mighty Dragon. Today's guest is actor Stephen Husker. He's just appeared as Senator Scott in Oppenheimer, the spectacular biographical film of J. Robert Oppenheimer, the father of the atomic bomb. Directed by Christopher Nolan, who's one of my favourite directors, I was absolutely delighted that Stephen would join me on The Mighty Dragon to go behind the scenes of Oppenheimer and also discuss his career as an actor, which spans 30 years. Stephen has appeared in Star Trek, Dream On, Malcolm in the Middle and so many others, and now Oppenheimer. In all this, he remains a humble actor, and I truly appreciate his honesty and advice that he shares on this podcast. Welcome to the Mighty Dragon, Stephen Husker. Hi. Hello, welcome to the Mighty Dragon. Thank, Thank you, you so much for joining me today. Um, I wanted to ask you a few questions before we get into Oppenheimer. Um, how did your acting career begin? Uh, well, I, um, I'm here in Los Angeles. I grew up here and I went to college at Cal State Northridge. This is already starting to be a really long answer. <laughs> <Sorry>. <laughs> you did warn me about this, so that's okay. Um, uh, I went to Cal State Northridge. I was in film school there. And uh, I think I knew I'd always wanted to be an actor, but I wasn't like, didn't have the awareness of how to do it or even how to even, even being aware of it. But I knew I liked movies and all of that. So I was in film school. It was great. And I started doing internships. And those internships turned into jobs while I was even still in college. And then mm. I was working in the business. I was a PA, then I was a coordinator, a post-production coordinator. And I graduated from college and I kept working and I started to, you know, then I got the awareness that you know, I started, you know, I had friends who were writers and who are actors. And I started to see the difference of the artistic end and the business end. And I realized, oh yeah, I want to be um, on the artistic end, you know, as an actor that just made, the realization made sense. As I continued to work in production, I started taking acting classes and studying and like in a two year program and all of that. And okay. as that ended, I realized, you know what? I'm gonna make a break. I'm going to stop working in production and focus on being an actor. Right. And luckily some of the productions I worked on, I was able to, uh, you know, I would ask, can I audition for one of the small parts? And so, uh, so that helped me at least get started, at least get a couple credits at the beginning. Then after that, I kind of had to then figure out on my own in a way to continue. It felt right for you to be on the other side of the camera for your career path. Yes, yes, the decision, exactly, exactly. Yes. That made total sense, exactly. And what sort of characters are you kind of drawn to portray? <laughs> oh, God, any kind that pay. Okay, that's yeah. kind of a joke. Um <laughs> But, uh, you know, I'm interested in all types. I don't, uh, I, I like to accept anything that comes. In yes. my position, I'm not really in a choosing place, uh, but I don't mind that. I, I'm open to all the auditions I get and look forward to auditioning and hopefully getting that part. In okay. almost every case, I'm sure there might be something I would not feel right about, probably more about you know, what it pays or if, you know, something like weird, not necessarily about the character. I looked on your IMDb, it's like from Star Trek, Dream On, Malcolm in the Middle and to, on to Oppenheimer. What's been your yeah. favourite? What's Have you, do you have a favourite? I don't think I have a favourite. I think uh, whenever I work, I enjoy working and in the people I work with, the process, the uh, being able to be there, Yes. Um, just like the privilege of that and feeling grateful for it. Um, you know, different sets and different experiences have different uh, vibes and feelings. Back when I was doing, when I started, I did a lot of commercials in those first, it's been 30 years. So like in the first 10 plus years. Yeah. Uh, and I did a series, I did like three or four commercials with a director named Craig Gillespie. He recently did I, Tanya, and there's a, another movie he just did that just came out. Uh, but working with him was was a lot of fun, and I really like that. I was lucky enough to do to work on a commercial with the Coen brothers. Wow. And, 
just the just working with them you know, separate from how nice they were and how, how yes. great they were to work with just the fact working with that name was yeah incredible was good and then the fact how how what the that the experience was also good wonderful can you tell me more about your character in Oppenheimer uh my part in Oppenheimer is is very small uh but oh and when I got the part I didn't know what the part was ah. until um they called I had a fitting at Universal like coming for a fitting the meet the hair people and meet some of the office people and uh I was in the fitting and I saw my name and I saw, I think it said like senator uh, senator scott senator scott yes. and I went oh I guess that's my part and I went then I went I met some of the office people and they said if you want hang out here in a separate office alone and read the script because they can't let the script out. We were never right. given a script to take home. Yes. And so I read the script. I thought, okay, this is the character. And this whole time, I assume the Senator characters were kind of um, not made up, but, but, but sort of representative of real characters, not necessarily like specific real characters, kind of more representative of what really happened okay. to tell the story. Uh, later on the set, once we're working, I was talking with uh, the other guys and one of the guys uh, said he had done research on his character. And I, and I went, oh, these are real? He said, yeah, they're, they're real. And he found all this great research. And I thought, oh, wow, that's great. <laughs> so there, you know, on location, I went to Wikipedia, tried to do research. And um, I, I'm sure the person I was portraying was a very uh, wonderful person. Um, the information I had found was not um, incredibly interesting to me, mm -hmm. uh, but that's fine. You know, I was yeah. able to take it in. But in, and this is going to get a little technical. Okay. You know, and if you've seen the movie, uh, the scene that I'm in, these scenes that appear throughout the movie, are. Uh, what we call here in the United States, a Senate confirmation hearing, where we are senators and we are questioning and then confirming a presidential nominee, a nominee from the president's office to be in his cabinet. Right. To do, uh, so we, it's a confirmation hearing and then we approve of him or we, you know, thumbs up or thumbs down. We right. vote yay or nay. Usually in the history of the United States, this is like a uh, formality. Once they get in front of the Senate and start asking questions, uh, they're pretty much assured they're, it's a formality. Yeah. Uh, this is one particular historical instance where this did not happen. He was actually voted down. Kind of a spoiler, but I won't get too specific. Yeah, yeah. So uh, we're just about to start shooting, and one of the ADs comes around to each of us. There are five of us playing senators and says, uh, your senator voted to approve him. Uh, your senator voted not to approve him and, uh, you know, told each of us how we voted, how our real senators voted. Uh, and I believe mine was I voted to approve him. So that gave me a, a point of view to have during right. these scenes. And okay. then the other thing was, uh, as we shot these scenes, uh, we didn't get to my very small section until I think it was the last day we were there. So throughout the other days, they were shooting the other guys and I could kind of watch them and see how they were, you know, maybe one was being more combative. One was being like a little more friendly in this questioning. Right. Just like the different, the different ways they were playing it. So when it got to me, I was able to feel, at least, I was kind of molding a little bit differently. Like how I was able to then make a decision to, oh, okay, I have, a, have an idea that is, of uh, perhaps inform the way I could portray right. him. In fact, I was going to ask you about the research behind that character. So that's wonderful. Thank you. Um, um, Wikipedia there... on the phone like this. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Wikipedia saves us all, doesn't it? You know, I kind of made fun like, you know, he wasn't that interesting. But, you know, any information you find is whether you think it's good or bad or interesting or uninteresting, it's something. It's something that can inform something in you. It's something you yeah. can what be inside you and if it, it can anything can inspire anything inside you so yes so your performance exactly. may have been completely different if you hadn't have done that research so perhaps that's, that's true 
Yeah. Are there any special behind the scenes moments or memories that you can share from the set? I think you know, we were there for over a week uh, right. and there were five of us um, playing the senator. So we were when we weren't shooting, we uh, hung out. We went to dinner every night. You know, it was it was just having fun with this. I think, well, there were, there were like five, six, seven of us. Yes. Who were kind of all there together. So just being able to hang out, meet them. And it was a great bunch of, uh, they were all great. I was, I was like the one, yeah. you know, they had all these great credits. And I'm like, I, I, I did this commercial once. <laughs> I was on Malcolm in the Middle. <laughs> I loved Malcolm in the Middle. That's brilliant. <laughs> um, I mean, but, but it was great. It was a lot of fun. And uh, yeah. Yes. Wonderful. Um, what did you learn from working with a director such as Christopher Nolan? I don't, I don't know exactly what I may have learned, but what I was able to observe of him, which, yeah. uh, you know, someone of that stature and to just yeah. to observe the way they work is uh, was incredibly you know interesting and something to take in. Uh and obviously this is a very expensive movie and all of that sort of yeah. thing. Uh, how calm he was, how um, focused he was, and and how fast he worked, how fast, you know, we moved along very quickly, um, but it was not rushed. It, yeah. um, and it wasn't like wasting time sitting around. It was, it was working and moving along, but unrushed, very calm, very focused and, like feel we were going in a direction. It didn't feel like a lot of waiting around for this or what are we going to do here or nobody knows that or it was right. it was, seemed all very well planned and thoughtful and um and all of those good things put together. A very well run operation, it yes. sounds like. Um, yes, but with room for like seeing him work with the DP, um, you know, they were making decisions right there and maybe changing their minds. So, so like open right. to being artistically inspired in the moment. There like having room for that. Yes. Um, so oh. it wasn't like we're going fast and just doing it this way and it's a drill. It was um very open to all of that. I'm I don't know if I'm making sense, but you I'm are. just saying that's great. Is know. there um a genre that you haven't tried that you'd like to? I'm open to all genres i think uh there may not be genres that i'm personally interested in seeing but uh like i'm not a huge science fiction fan but i did years ago did a star trek voyager and for yes. full full um you know alien makeup and all of that like the whole the whole thing the, <laughs> Um, like I said, maybe not something I would choose to, the first thing I would choose to watch, but I really enjoyed working on that. I'm not a huge horror fan to watch, but I, I would love to do that. Just yeah. the high intense, the intensity of that. Yes. Um, and I don't think I've ever done horror. So I would, I, like I said, I'd love to do all of it. Yeah. Uh, but as to something like a specific genre I haven't done, uh, might be horror. Yeah, and, but like I said, if I never do horror, that would be good too, as long as I, um, you know, yeah. keep going. But as an actor based in California, what piece of advice would you give to anyone following in your footsteps? In terms of deciding to be an actor, yes, and not my yeah. specific footsteps. Correct. Yes. Oh wow, that's so hard. That um, that's a hard. That's a very deep question, isn't it? And also the fact that someone would listen to me. Um, See, and now I want to do a joke where I say, get out now. Yeah. <laughs> but I'm not going to. I'm not going to say that joke. I'm not. Uh, well, you know, everyone's different, but I uh, I would think uh, have a confidence, whether it's through like someone who has studied and gone to school and, you know, they have something to be, base a confidence in. They come in yeah. with that confidence. Someone who hasn't studied, but they they have a confidence that they have a talent come in with that confidence, knowing that wherever you come from, whatever your background is, whatever your acting background is, your studying background is, you have something, you have a point of view. So I would think have a confidence in whatever your point of view is when you go into audition or if you yeah. go in to meet a, an agent to have a meeting. 
that have the confidence in your talent wherever it comes from. Whether it, whether it's just in your mind or something like you went to Yale Drama School, yeah, something like that. Your final question: <laughs> What have you got coming up? I did do something before that was almost a year ago, and it's not out yet. There's an Apple TV series that should be out. It's not scheduled yet. Uh, called Palm Royale, right? And it's with Kristen Wiig and Allison Janney and right. uh, Ward Gurn and Carol Burnett and Josh Lucas. And I mean, there's a whole list of people. Oh, and wow. me. <laughs> uh, <laughs> but I'm in one very short scene. Um, but uh, that will be coming out at some point. Um, it's already October and it, this there's not a date for it yet. So I assume it'll probably probably be sometime next year. Right. Okay. That's great. We'll be watching out for that. Okay. Thank you so much for joining me today and for You're sharing your you for advice and your you. acting history. Thank you so much. And hopefully see you again soon. Thank you, Victoria. Thank you. Bye. 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 Bye.